Hi, it's Dan from Game Earlier here. I'm checking out Mr. Pandaria, the beta. Um, yeah, there were a lot of waves of invites for the annual pass holders, and finally got in in the last, or one of the last ones, the major uh, push, which about 250,000 invites were sent out. So finally got in, which I'm sort of happy about. Um, it's good to get in, but uh, there's a lot of purple around, as you can see. A lot of purple. Um, it was a bit of a struggle just to get here. Uh, had a lot of all sorts of frame issues. Um, possibly because there's so many people playing at the moment until all that got in at the same time. Um, so anyway, snuck over from Stormwind over to here, where we are now, which is in Pandaria. Yes, so there's the ward map there. I'm in the Jade Forest. Um, I don't know if there were actually any quests when I came through. I just sort of bounced over onto this area. I'm not too far from the start area, so I probably should go back there. Um, but, as you can see, the maps are pretty much there. Well, mostly. <laughs> um, so he's still got some stuff work in progress here. Uh, I imagine this is no different to any other beta in the past. Um, where they're still working on things in the wild and they're here. I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe it'll be a PvP area or something. Um, I need a name. Great place. Let's go there. Um, so yeah. It's it's here. <laughs> um, and I guess a lot of people were thinking we'd get in and it'd be a you know, 75% complete game. Um, but obviously there's, there's still a lot of things to be sorted out. And I guess that's the whole point of the beta anyway, is for us to get in here and test these things out so Blizzard can make them better. Make it work. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm just taking a little tour around, having a look at what's about. And there's lots of trees and so on, and that all looks nice. It gives me a bit of a, I mean, I'm only just been five seconds here, but kind of gives me the uh, North Red type of feeling mm, from one of the starter zones there. Um, Howling Fjord. Um, but, um, you know, very early. Lots of purple. Anyway, so let's have a look at what creatures are about. So you've got a shrine elk over here bouncing around. A bit of rough animation. But, uh, let's see, 158k health. So it has more health than I do. Hmm, alright. Um, shrine of Doom. So, one thing I should say is the talents have been changed. So your spec is, it's, the screen's just sort of mixed around a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, you choose which one you would like to be. I chose arms, because I would like arms. So you get your four sort of basics. Um, Colossus Smash. Now, I don't know if you get that at early game, right from the beginning. Maybe you do. Be interesting. So, um... So yeah, I think typically, at the moment, you only get Mortal Strike. Um, so if they throw in the other three, then sure, cool. Uh, so anyway, then you go into the talents, and the talents, are the, the tree's gone. No tree. Um, and you have three options on each tier here, at each level. So, sorry, at each 15 levels, it seems. Um, you get a choice out of three. And I've really just chosen what I thought was right, but uh, I don't know if there is a right or wrong. Maybe there's one more geared. I mean, this looks more geared towards, you know, PvP. Um, but then you've got that third option, so... You know, I mean, sometimes you can have Shockwave. I guess, you know, that could come in, to, come in handy while you're, you know, leveling up to start a couple of things. Um, you know, but you can also do this, you can knock people down, so, you know, there's a few options here. Uh, I'm sure within, you know, days of the, the game starting, there'll be some sort of, uh, this is the uh, talents you must pick if you want to be this spec, so, um, yeah. There's a lot of pandas about. This goes, this ghostly panda's just chugging away on something. But, uh, let's have a look at that other one over there. Now, the pandas do look... They look, they look okay, you know? They look pretty good. Makes the rest of us look a bit funny. You know, an outdated blizzard. Um, hopefully they get onto that, though. It'd be good, you know, I would have expected that to be done expansions ago. But, um, 
you know, with with classes, you know, races like the Worgen and Pandas, and you know, even to a degree the Blood Elves and the the other one, the Green Eye. And, um, you know, I think it's about time, Blizzard, to update the rest of it. So yeah, monks are plenty. So, okay, we get it. There's lots of green around here and uh, and all that. And I can't actually fly. Uh, I believe you need to be level 90 before you can fly. So um, it's all riding, riding around. I guess that brings back that wrath type of uh, experience where you need to pretty much drive everywhere at least to what was it, level 70, 77, 77, 78. So I'm just trying to find something different. I actually would. Where's some combat? Let me. Let me fight something. Jade spicy. So where are we? Oh, we're on the edge there. Right. Purple box land down there. Lots of box kites and dragons. Now what's that? Oh. Looks interesting. A lot of bridges going to to box box world up the top there. Right. Come on, Dan. Find something interesting. I am probably going the wrong way. Off the beaten path. Well, let's you know. Let's kill this smoky porcupine, which looks interesting. We don't want to pat that. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. The glyphs. A lot of them seem sort of almost for fun, you know. Um, like I had a glyph which the battle shout. It makes me raise up in the air as I shout with great fury. Um, no, I don't know. What's that for? Maybe it's just interim. Maybe they're actually working on something for that. But um, it was a bit strange. Some are a bit more effective like this. Keeping my intimidated target on the spot. Uh, but that was... I'm pretty sure that was in... That's in the live server as well, so... Um, but... No, beta. What can you say? Disrupting shouts is pretty cool. It's like an interrupt. So I've got that interrupt, and I've also got the pummel. Um, which is good. I always like having an, an extra interrupt up my sleeve. Alright, so most of these just standard bears and so on. Yeah, there's a porcupine there, but yeah. Let's see something. Show me something, Blizzard. <laughs> All I see is purple. Uh, oh, that's a nice funky bridge. Steep rise. I saw a purple bear. I don't know if you saw it, but I saw it. Oh! Popping out bear. That's a big bear, too. Deep woods bear. Uh, let's go towards Dawn's Blossom. So, yes, this is very early on. Uh, I will make more videos as I go along and discover more. This is pretty much... Yeah, just a, <laughs> that's an intro to this beta. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more to see as it goes on. There's a funky palace down there. I might head towards that instead. Avoid the wasps. a dragon out the front there. So, you know, the oriental theme, oriental themes there. Um, I'm sure this will look more impressive when there's less purple walls everywhere. Uh, you can also, there's DX11, which is an option. My video card only does 9. Um, so whether that does great deal or not. Maybe it's more for effects than anything else. And optimizations. It's a good looking palace. I'll give it that. Okay. 
just can't see where I'm going. Somebody fighting there. Oh god. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, oh, I see stairs. Get the stairs! Get up! Get the stairs! Get up! Ah. Alright. It's like playing Silent Hill. You know? The purple version. Purple fog. Probably deadly. I could be riding off a cliff. Okay, right. So this is fairly big. I, this could be a raid. Possibly. This guy's already level 86. Um, is it a raid? Heroic difficulty. I don't know. But it looks, looks big enough to be one of those raids. It's quite a large temple. Now, any other things that I have noticed so far? Um, yeah, the glyphs, you know. Reduce the cooldown of Heroic Leap, that's... Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> that helps a little bit. Uh, you know... There's, there's little things here. I'd suggest if you want to find out more about these type of things, go to mmochampion.com. Uh, just Google that. There is a hyphen between MMO and champion. Uh, that's a brilliant, brilliant site for uh, all sorts of things. But mostly World of Warcraft related. Uh, so I do suggest you check that out. Uh, wowhead.com does have quite a bit on, on the beta, the beta uh, and on the talents and items and all that sort of stuff. You can certainly check out the tea gear that's available. Let's take a little yeah let's let's go for a let's go for a little flight. Oh what what is that? And how does it move? By using gunpowder. Genius look at that. My feet go straight through. Brilliant. Oh, there's a nice green dragon in the back there. Okie doke. Oh, there we go. There's a nice view of that temple back there. Right, so anyway, this is just a, a little intro to what I'm looking at here in the bed. <laughs> lots of purple blocks here. Just lots of them. Look at them. Look at that. Let's just go through there. Yeah. Purple gelatinous cubes. Um... Yeah, just a little intro. Show you what what I'm what I'm looking at. Oh, everyone's fighting each other, and I can't see what's going on. Great. Yeah, I'm on a PvP realm, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> so even more dangerous when I can't see what I'm hitting. And this guy's gonna get me. And there I go. All right. Well, with that said. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I will be popping up more as I go along and hopefully can see you a little bit more than purple cubes. Alright, see you later.